Hey, what's going on, YouTubers? This is Adam. I'm Adam, the Florida Piper. I'm uh, going ahead and make another video because I want to show you a recent acquisition I got. You can see right here, this pipe that I'm smoking is an Eric Nording that I ordered, just ordered online. Let's see if you can get a good look at it. This is called the Abstract. It's uh, hand carved. I love these pipes. Uh, I've always liked that, the Nording style. And I looked for a while. I didn't want to get one right away. So I looked and I thought about it. And I ended up thinking, uh, figuring out that this is the one that I like a lot. You can kind of see. I think they call it the Hunter uh, Edition. They call it, there's another one called uh, Fantasy. This is the abstract. I like the way that it looked. You could see the smooth top and the uh, kind of the uh, sandblasted bottom. I just thought it had a nice look to it. Really cool. First Nording. Smokes really nice. I'm going to pause it for a second so I can relight. Oh, wait, here we go. Yeah. All right. So I like it. I like the way it smokes. You know, you, you always wonder when you get a pipe. You know you can spend a lot of money on a lot of pipes. But the question is, is it going to be worth the money? Of course, the, the name brand is, is all good and everything. The way it looks is, of course, a big deal. Which, if you like the look, that's, that's cool. If you're just a pipe collector, that's fine enough. But if you smoke pipes then you want to have a pipe that also smokes well. So, I've been, uh, I smoked this a few times already. I really like it. I think it's a good smoke. I'm learning still. This is my first year of real piping that I've just accomplished. And, uh, you know, I've gone through some pipes, some of them better than others. I'm kind of getting an idea of what a good smoke is. This one definitely is. It's easy, you know, it just is shaped well, so it just seems like I don't have to wrestle with the smoke, with the tobacco or anything like that. Real quick, I just want to show you some tobaccos I got as well. Put my pipe down for a second. <clears throat> I'm on my job, my hotel job, so it's uh, about 1 o'clock in the morning, 1.30. Pretty, pretty quiet out here. All right, I got two two new ones that I never tried before you've probably seen this it's called Samuel and Gawith Samuel Gawith I'm sorry Navy Flake all right now Navy Flake was a, that was the first time I had a Navy Flake it was a really good smooth cool eat good smoke now my uh, tobacconist uh, down here he recommended Samuel Gawith said it was a good name brand I've heard and he also mentioned, or some somebody mentioned, that they age their tobacco very, very well. So you're going to get a better, cooler, smoother smoke. Here's the other one. I tried this one, too. I just took a guess at this one. It's uh, Samuel Galwith uh, Westmoreland Mixture. Uh, it's good. That's what I'm smoking tonight. I smoked it once already, but it was it was after I smoked a bunch. So it was a, at that time, my mouth was already kind of worn out. So now I haven't smoked for about a week now. Took, sometimes you got to take... You'll realize this, probably some of you smokers. Sometimes it's good to take some time off from smoking just so you can continue to enjoy it. If you smoke too much, I don't know about all of you, but for me, if I smoke too much, especially if, it's, it's, if you get a couple bad experiences in there, then you, you know, you're not going to enjoy it. So I took about a week off, and tonight I'm really enjoying this, this, uh, this Westmoreland mixture. So... Yeah, it's good. It's a little bit of a brighter taste. Do a review of some other tobaccos that I've gotten. Mississippi River, I got some more of that. Frog Morton. Fourth generation, 
that fourth generation 1897 is a sweet it's a little bit of a aromatic it's not strong aromatic but it's uh it's it's a decent it's probably a middle a medium range and last but not least i don't know if you've seen this one crown achievement that's lane limited crown achievement i liked it a lot at the one of the last meetings we had and uh wanted to order some i've tried it once since i've got it it's not disappointing it's a pretty good mixture uh, it's kind of a i want to say oriental a little bit of oriental latakia i know i'm throwing a lot out there at you guys tonight i think you can handle it just it's been a while since I, i've got a lot of stuff and it's been a while so i haven't been able to show you i picked up another pipe too that was very impulsive i'll show it to you uh next video because i have it uh somewhere in my car <laughs> and I'll have to go look through it right now but it's a um, I'll show you the next video it's a Peterson um, it's a Sherlock Holmes style pipe but uh, it's got a big long big bent it's cool I'll show you next time but I've been wanting to get a Peterson for a while too and uh, it definitely looks I like Sherlock Holmes I've always uh enjoyed reading the short stories and now I'm watching a series on um, on Netflix you can look at if you like that kind of thing it's BBC is the one who airs it but on Netflix you just put in Sherlock it's a modern version of Sherlock Holmes uh, I really like the actors it's got um, um, I can't remember it. Uh, Cumberbatch is, uh, is Sherlock Holmes I forget his first name and then uh, Martin Freeman is John Watson and Martin Freeman, if you're familiar with Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, he is on the current Hobbit series. They've made two movies, and a third one's coming out this December, The Hobbit. And I saw him on Sherlock, and I, and I, re I recognized him, and uh, I realized that it was The Hobbit. But he's, he's a really good actor. So anyways, a little bit of a side story there. Uh, if you like that kind of stuff, it's a really good series. Very well put together. Uh, interesting, and it doesn't seem like the hokey... Uh, movies. I didn't watch really the Sherlock movies. I've seen clips of them, the recent ones that they've released, and they look kind of hokey, you know, exaggerated and stuff. But these are very well put together. So check it out. Let me know if you like it. I'd like to hear back from you. Kind of a long video. I don't like making long videos because people don't really want to invest that much time. <laughs> I know I, that's how I think when I see one, unless I really like the person who's uh, who's uh, putting it on. Uh, real quick shout out I really enjoyed watching uh, 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 Addicted to Archery I know you watch my videos I appreciate it buddy and uh, I saw your last video when you told about your kayak experience in Tennessee and brother we got a lot in common I appreciate that and uh, maybe if I'm ever up in that in that area the uh, Ocoee River area um, I'll shout, I'll give you a, a shout out, try to message you or something to see if we can get together and have a pipe. Because I do go up there. I love that. I love Tennessee. Love Tennessee so much. I'm down here in Florida. A lot of people love Florida. I grew up here. It could get a little warm, a little, I get tired of it sometimes. I try to always keep the bright side on, but, um, you know, always try to enjoy the, the you know, where I'm at. But I, I love going up to the mountains. I love Tennessee. I lived a few years in Kentucky. Loved that. I know a man with the plant Harlow is up there. And uh, Kentucky is, again, I love that. It's a beautiful area. I love the weather, the culture, and everything. Well, I hope I've not um, completely bored you guys with my rambling. As Addicted to Archery likes to put it, rambling. <laughs> I'm at my hotel right now. You can see my beautiful hotel that I work at. I'll go ahead and let y'all go. Hope you have a good one. Uh, I'll try to keep up more frequent videos, but, uh, you know, as you know, it's, that's just part of life. As often as I get to it, I will. And I uh, hope everyone's doing well out there. Good luck. God bless. And uh, keep on piping, my fellow pipers.